Hey, hey, hey. I know you guys have totally missed this. And so we're going to have some fun evaluating sources. And for those of you, probably most of you, who are like, uh, Miss Michelle, what's evaluating a source? Well, it is the O to the P to the V to the L. Our learning objectives are as such. So, by the time we finish this video, I am hoping that you understand how to extract origin and purpose from a source, and you also know how to use that origin and purpose, once you've extracted it, to then develop values and limitations. That's right, y'all, the party never ends. And finally, now that you have this information, how do I put it down right? So before we begin our OPVL journey, that's right, join me on a trip evaluating sources. A couple of things we need to clear up. Now, the primary purpose of making you evaluate sources, as you know, is to torture you. But there is a secondary educational component. The purpose of doing this is to help you evaluate your sources, to help you in your research, and then analyzing the evidence from that research. So it's a way to help you understand how the research, the evidence, fits into your arguments. And so for an investigation, what you want to do is to choose the two most significant sources. Make sure, dun, 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 one, your sources are academic. Two, each source clearly, and when I say clearly, I mean clearly connects to some part of your question. So you've created a question, you've extracted from your question, you've developed some uh, uh, arguments. Make sure that each source that you're using clearly connects to uh, one of your arguments. And together, though, these sources should work to give you different perspectives. So what you're doing here is trying to have sources that are significant because they're helping you to understand more deeply some important aspects of your question. So um, if uh, in looking at your source, choose one source that's left, one source that's right, one source that's up, one source that's down, one source that's black, one source that's white. I could keep singing, but you probably don't want me to. Now, you're like, oh my goodness, I got this. I got this, Miss Michelle. And I'm like, sure, but you must remember, you must remember, you need to think about your task. Before you start evaluating the source, you need to think about the task, what you're trying to do. That gives you directions and helps you to be able to figure out the values and limitations. In this, I'm asking you, with reference to the origin and purpose, analyze the values and limitations of the source for a historian studying the impacts of the Industrial Revolution in 19th century Britain. So that statement right there, that is what you need to make sure you have in mind all the time to follow. So now we're ready, right? We're ready to jump on this OPVL train. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is to get the origin. Here we have a source and this source is an extract from a report. So now we're going to work to get that origin. In order to get the origin, we're going to look at this portion of our source. Now, it could be at the top, it could be at the bottom. But your source is going to have something that gives you information. And once you find that, inf from, find that info, you then extract it. Okay? And from that at the top... I can say the origin of the source is the manufacturing population of England, and it is a report by P. Gaskell, a doctor published in London in 1833. So when we have an origin, a few things we need to include. One, we need to include the title 
of the source. And we are not just looking at the extract, we're thinking, hmm, the entire document. We need to include what type of document it is. This one is a report. We need to include the author. The author is P. Gaskell. We need to include the qualifications of the author. This helps us to know, hmm, how qualified is this person to discuss this topic? And their qualifications will then tell me how, what, how much of this I can use in my investigation. And finally, you need to tell me where and when it was published. And this one was published in London in 1833. So that is what a source and an origin needs to include. The title, the type of document, the author, the qualifications of the author, and the date of publication. So we have the origin. Now onward to the next step, which is the purpose. Again, here is our extract. Here is our source. This is what you need to do. One have a pretty orange button. <laughs> we need to get information from the um, top again, and this time we're looking at the title, and we're going to combine that title with the information that is included in the text. And from that, we will then extract the purpose. So our title is about the manufacturing population of England, and in the text, there's discussion about the unhealthiness, I'm not sure if that's a real word, of working in factories for children. Be careful. Do not focus only on the text that discusses the children because we have to think about what is the larger picture. We only have a small extract here but this is part of a much larger piece of work. So we also have to think about what does the rest of this report discuss? And once we do that, we get to our purpose. And so the purpose of the source is to discuss the impacts industrialization has on the health of factory workers. And we know that it's health because this is what is being discussed in the text and our author is a doctor. And we know that it is talking about the impacts of industrialization on factory workers in general, because that is what is said in the title. We have our origin, we have our purpose, now it's time to start looking at the values. So let's first focus on origin. But before we do that, remember, remember your task, your task. So we're looking at the impacts of industrialization in 19th century Britain. Let's begin with the origins. What we need to do is figure out the bits of the information that we are actually going to analyze. Now, this is going to look at all of the potential things that you can analyze here. When you do your own OPVL, you don't have to include all of this but this is to show you that you could potentially uh, analyze many different parts of this origin. Let us begin with the title, the manufacturing population of England. And we can do this. And so we think about what this tells us. How does this title um, help us to look at the impact of industrialization in England? We see that it's good because it, it's valuable in helping us meet our task because it provides information about the people involved in manufacturing. Therefore, it helps explain the impacts industrialization would have on their lives. Additionally, because it is focusing on England, it will also provide information focused only on Britain. Keep in mind that you have to put the therefore in order to have a well-developed value. If you just say that it provides information about manufacturing, then uh, you're gonna be stuck in the four range. Sorry. Next, we're gonna look at, ooh, it's a report. Reports are good. This report 
is likely to be researched and balanced and looking at different aspects of the impacts of industrialization on the people. So we're looking at the type of document and that type of document tells us something. And, oh, it is a doctor who is doing the talking. And this doctor is valuable because since Gaskell is a doctor, he can provide reliable information for the time of um, the impacts of industrialization on the health of the people. Additionally, we can get something from the year. Because it was published in 1833, it, it was written during the time of the Industrial Revolution. So it provides info on how or what people thought of this process of industrialization as it was happening. So this is chock full of goodness, people. Chock full of goodness. We can also extract values from the purpose. So I'm going to bring back that value we kicked to the curb before. And again, we're looking at what the purpose is and we're thinking, how does this document, it was created for a certain reason, so it's going to, the information is tailored in a certain direction. And how does that direction help us to better understand the impacts of uh, industrialization in 19th century Britain? What we can say here is the value of the purpose is that it helps the researcher to understand in what ways the health of the people were affected by working and living near factories, right? It also provides an explanation for different groups within industrial society. And we know that it's going to be discussing different groups because the broadness of the title and the extract itself focuses on a particular group. So I can assume if they're talking about children that they're also going to be talking about other people as well. Because the title... Before we move on to the limitations, you again must remember, remember your task. Because it helps. So now let's start talking about the limitations. Again, the limitations are going to be based on what you've included in the origin and purpose. Do not base your limitations on what is written in the extract itself. We are looking at the whole source and that is why we need to put down the full origin and the full purpose. Here we go, let's start again. We start with the title. And what we can say here is, the report only discusses the people directly working in factories. Therefore, it doesn't examine other segments in society like the middle class. So it's talking about the manufacturing population, but what about the doctors and lawyers and people who are indirectly affected by manufacturing? We don't get that information. So it's a limit as to how broadly I can use this source. It's a report. Uh, psych, I don't really have anything to say for this one. Gaskell's a doctor. Woo -woo. And since he is a doctor, though, there's a limitation. Now, there's a, there's a value to him being a doctor, but there's also a limitation. He can only provide medical opinion. Therefore, the information is going to be limited to health, and we're not going to get much else about the other impacts of the um, Industrial Revolution, like economic, political, environmental, like that. And it is also a limitation that it was written in 1933, because since it was written at the time the industrialization was happening, in the midst of it, it lacks hindsight. and Hindsight is a word people love to use, but you have to provide the explanation about what you mean. Because there's no hindsight, there's limited information, so it doesn't take into account the whole of the Industrial Revolution, only the little slice that has been seen to this point. But hold your horses, because we can also analyze the limitations based on the purpose. And what we can say here, the limitation of the purpose is that it only discusses the health of the people, 
Therefore, it doesn't give information on other, uh, other industrial impacts, all right? Such as urbanization, class, um, et cetera. And you're like, whoa, Miss Michelle, that was amazing. So let me wrap it all up for you. In sum, you need to make sure you write the evaluation of your sources in the correct format. You've just done all of this thinking work, woo, wiping the sweat from your brow because you've been at it hardcore. Now you want to make sure you put the information down correctly so that it is clear what you're trying to say. Begin with the origin of the source is, the purpose of the source is, and now you have a choice. The value of the origin is, or, or if you want to be like hard, hardcore, go for and. The value of the purpose is. And then you have to discuss the limitations. So the limitation of the source is. The limitation of the purpose is. Now that we've had this chat about evaluating our sources, my expectations are high. So next time you have to do OPVL, my recommendation is to open this video, remind yourself of some of the tricky parts, and Michelle out.